Hey, how you doing, guys? Welcome back as to the Hey, it's been a minute since the last video, I know. And I got this for you. I got this 2020 Lincoln, as you can see, Aviator, Aviator, whatever you want to call it. You get it, right? And I'm gonna show you. You see that? That's right. It's time to do the oil change and. After that, I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, oil life reset, okay? Before I get into the action, I just wanna say that uh, if you wanna see a specific uh, project, just go to my channel, go to my videos, and look for the specific vehicle you're looking for. Let's say you're looking for Subaru. Type Subaru, press enter, and all the videos related to that car gonna pop up and I'm saying and just watch it I hope you like it I hope you uh, enjoy these are all changing this 2020 Lincoln Aviator I'm not gonna hold you up no more I just want to mention that uh, before you start working on the vehicle under the vehicle or in the front or whatever always wear safety glasses now i'm saying safety goggles and gloves okay they start behind the gloves it's not because oh i'm uh, uh, i'm old old school mechanic i don't wear i don't wear gloves you know because i learn i, I learn like that well it's, it, 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 and if you wear gloves other people say, "Oh yeah, I wear gloves because I, I wear gloves because I'm a, 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 I'm the new age uh, mechanic." And I'm saying this and that, but I'm going to tell you the story behind that. The reason why you have to wear gloves is the same reason you have to wear safety glasses, safety goggles. With the gloves, is that the oil and all these fluids contain chemicals that cause cancer. Okay, in the long term, and you don't want to get cancer. Know what I'm saying it could be cancer to the skin, cancer, cancer to the uh, uh, birth, and all that. Know what I'm saying you don't you, you don't want to risk it. Know what I'm saying the same as you don't want to risk lose your eyes. Wear safety goggles, wear gloves, and that's it. Look at this. I'm gonna say something else but I forgot so uh, if I remember after the oil change at the end of this video uh, 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 I'll let you know all right so let's get it let's do the oil change in this uh, 2020 Lincoln uh, Aviator I right, hope you like it enjoy have fun let's get it let's do it put them hey Should we laugh? 
Hey, how you doing guys? Welcome back to this back it is hey Alright, so I hope you like the video. I hope you enjoyed the video how to do the uh, all the change in this uh, 2020 Lincoln 
Navi aviator. I was gonna say navigator is aviator. Okay, aviator. All right. Okay, we well, start the vehicle. Well, let me give you a rundown about the oil change. Okay. You know, you go to the bottom looking for the oil drain plug. You're gonna see this panel that cover that section, and you're gonna see these clips. I'm showing you how to remove those. And you also gonna see uh, these bolts that hold the panel. What you're gonna do there is use a seven millimeter socket, seven millimeter, okay? It's a seven millimeter socket and that should do the work, all right? And the oil drain plug, just twist it off. It's gonna come out and be careful if the engine is hot. The oil is going to be uh, more like, I don't know how to say it, more fluid, more liquid, more, you know what I'm saying. It's not, it's not going to be like a heavy, you know what I'm saying? It's going to splash on you. Alright. So yeah, and then when you pull back the oil drain plug, just twist, twist it on clockwise you're gonna hear a click and that's it just make sure what I'm saying it's hard to twist it off okay and after that just uh, I put a 6.5 quarts of a 5w30 synthetic synthetic oil by the way 6.5 quarts okay full full synthetic And now I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, uh, the oil life reset. Okay, you start the vehicle. You start the vehicle. I'm saying press this, press the brake, press this. It's gonna start. It's running right now. There's only one way, as far as I know. Look, look the stick shift, stick sh no, the uh, shifter. Funny, huh? All right. So what you're gonna do is uh, the vehicle is running right now. You're gonna use only this guy. If you want, if you wanna, it says hold or press OK, but you're just gonna like a shift. You can move it like left or right, okay? You'll see, okay. It says dismiss alert, press OK. Now push it to the right. Watch. You see that? Now press it down. It's gonna take you there. Other life, OK, yeah, to the right. It's gonna take you there. It says percent oil life, zero percent. Hold, okay, to reset. And the way you hold it is, push it to the right and hold it right there, okay? And that's how you, and that's how you reset the oil life in this uh, 2020 Lincoln Aviator. Let's go back and see, okay? Now you have 100% oil life. Uh, this is it. This is how you reset the oil life in this uh, Lincoln 2020 Aviator. Alright uh, guys, and that's it. Like I said, I'm not going to hold you up no more. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Share it. Share the video. And please, anything you have in mind, the feedback, put in the comment box for me. Anything I did wrong, anything I did good. Whatever you have in mind, just put it in the comment box for me. And if you know anything about this vehicle, also put it in the in the in the, in the comment box. All right, so I learn from you, and the other mechanics and the people that are watch this video learn from you also. Know what I'm saying, knowledge is power. That's the message of the day. All right, guys, that's it for now. I catch you in the next one. I right? holla at your boy. Let's do it. Hey.